all bodies welcome yoga make sure that you have subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any classes we have a class every thursday at 12 p.m eastern uh, today we're going to be working on yoga for our hands our wrists and our shoulders uh, kind of getting through those joints and it will be seated the whole time you can sit on a cushion like i'm sitting you can sit on a chair you can sit on the sofa the edge of the bed whatever you have available to you is fine we are going to need some kind of strap for today so i have a regular yoga strap you can use the belt of a robe a firm scarf a towel something that you can hold and is long enough that you can kind of hold on either side of you um so yeah we are going to get started shortly but just make sure that you check out below so you can see the links to our Patreon community where subscribers get discounts to group classes and private sessions. Also get the YouTube classes early, as well as all the other fun stuff. My link to my newsletter so you can stay up to date on events and also all of the social media contacts you might need. If you are interested in trying a group class, we do have class every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern on Zoom. And you can try your first class for free with the code below in the description. All right, we are going to get started. We're gonna find a mountain spine. So wherever you're sitting, if you are on the edge of a chair or sofa, make sure both feet are planted firmly onto the ground. Letting our spines grow a little bit taller. Letting our shoulders drop away from our ears. And think about where the ears are in terms of the shoulders. A lot of us sit with our heads forward because we work on computers, we look at our screens a lot. So we wanna make sure that our ears are kind of moving back a little bit so that they're over our shoulders. You can see that a little bit. So kind of find your ear lobes and then drag them down and see where they touch. Are you touching in front of your shoulders? It almost feels unnatural, right, to be on our shoulders because we all sit forward so much. I know I do. Actually, like, I think I watch TV like this. <laughs> so try to bring back the head a little bit for this class to give your neck a little break. We're actually gonna have a neck pain and headache relief class later on in September as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. And once we have our mountain spine, we're gonna bring our hands together, heart center, let the thumbs touch the chest. And this is Anjali Mudra. Mudras are yoga positions for your hands. Um, and they have a lot of different meanings, both energetically and physically. This one's really popular, of course, in yoga classes. But what we're gonna do here is to start off by warming up our wrists and our hands, just to really press our palms towards each other, press our fingertips together, Press our thumbs together, bringing in that engagement. And if you have carpal tunnel syndrome or sensitive wrists, you might start to feel some numbing sensation or stinging. So lessen your intensity here. Um, but this is actually one of the ways that they test for carpal tunnel syndrome. We're gonna do another pose in a minute as well, but we're just kind of bringing in that pressure, warming up here, maybe even starting the sensation down from the back of the hands into the wrists, into the forearms. One more big inhale. And exhale, relax the arms, relax the hands. Let them kind of fall open on your thighs, on your knees, palms up. Take a big inhale. Big exhale. We're gonna take the backs of the hands together, palms away. Yeah, fingers down. And this is called Phelan's test, which is something that is used to check for, you know, carpal tunnel syndrome. Or press the backs of the hands together. You can wiggle the fingers if you need to. Good 
And again, you're looking for if you feel any numbness or tingling in the fingertips and the hands. That's gonna tell you to take a little bit of a less pressure or take a break. Maybe you know you have carpal tunnel syndrome. Maybe you don't know, but if you are feeling a lot of numbness or tingling here, it's something maybe you wanna to talk to a doctor about. One more big inhale. Exhale and wind. Let the hands rest, palms up. Find that mountain spine again. Good, big inhale. Big exhale. I'm gonna send the arms long in front of us. We're gonna make fists and we're going to make some circles. Breathing gently. And this is a great time to also practice your focus. So maybe find a focal point on the wall in front of you and try to anchor your gaze while you're doing this. Let's reverse our circles. And then release. Bring the hands back and palms up, big inhale. Big exhale. Good. All right, we're going to take our left fingers into our right hand. I think about what side I was on. <laughs> and so we're holding onto our fingers here, forearm in front of us, we're gonna do little pumps here. We're pressing both our fingers into our palm and our palm back into our fingers. Taking these little pumps and breathing gently. One more big inhale on the side. And exhale, relax. Let the hands drop open, fine mountain spine. We're gonna come back again and again. Those soft shoulders, the head over the shoulders. Big inhale, big exhale. We're gonna take the opposite side. So now right fingers pressing into the left hand. We're gonna do little pumps. So on these little pumps, you know, you can again work on your focus, finding an anchor point for your eyes. This class is gonna have a lot of smaller movements today. We are gonna make our way up to some bigger movements at the end with our shoulders. But we're just trying to knit the wrists to move around through a lot of different ranges of mobility. Get blood flow moving. Remembering to have our fingers and our palms pressing into each other. A few more. One more big inhale and exhale, relax. I'm gonna change across my legs. If you're cross-legged, it might be good to change from time to time. And those palms open up, finding mountain spine, find that alignment through the head, big inhale, big exhale. Good. Remember from the elbows to 90 degrees, we're gonna make fists. And we're gonna do little pumps here with our fists. Just little squeezes. Don't need to be really tight. Remember just to breathe gently and softly the whole time. And 
Just turn the palms down like this. And again, do a little squeezing here. Maybe finding that concentration point. One more inhale and exhale, relax. Bring those palms back to your legs. Big inhale, big exhale. Good. Okay. We're gonna take the arms long, palms up. We're gonna inhale, move the fingers out. That's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, move the fingers in. Exhale out. Inhale. Inhale up and out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Trying to keep the palms flat. It's hard. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in, inhale out, exhale in, two more inhale out, exhale in, one more inhale out, exhale in. You can almost feel that like down the back of the forearms. Okay, let the palms drop, find mountain spine in between, big inhale. Big exhale. <sighs> Great. All right. Next, we're going to do the arms long away. We're going to start here. Palms down. Fingers curl towards the forearms. Inhale. Exhale. Open the palms up. Inhale. Curl it down. Exhale. Palms up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Oof. Almost a little sore. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Noticing how maybe the wrists feel different as you're moving through this. I know mine do. And not worrying about if you're getting this big, full, you know, palm stroke to the ceiling. I'm not getting that, especially with my right hand. Let's do three more. Inhale, curl it down. Exhale, open up. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Big stretch. Push away. And then relax. Palms rest up. Find mountain spine. Big inhale. Big exhale. Okay. We're going to take the... Let's start with this arm. Sure. Our right, our left arm away. Start with palms up. Breathing here, holding the arm in, getting some strength through the bicep. Fingers are pointing up, palm away. Big inhale, big exhale. Turn the neck. Big inhale, and exhale. Bring the neck back, head faces forward. Inhale, exhale. Drop the head away, inhale. Exhale, good. Return the fingers out. Bring the head back to center. So fingers pointing back behind you, palm away from you. Big inhale, big exhale. Look away, big inhale, big exhale. Back to center, big inhale, big exhale. Drop the ear away, big inhale, big exhale. Bring it back to center and point the fingers down. Big inhale, big exhale. Turn the head away, big inhale, big exhale. Back to center, inhale, exhale. Drop the ear away, inhale. 
exhale, back to center, big inhale, exhale, relax the arm, Whew, get that shoulder little circle, getting that whole arm engaged, good, come back to mountain spine for a second, palms up, big inhale, big exhale, good, all right, opposite side, start with the fingers up, palm away, inhale, center, Exhale, look away, inhale, and exhale, back to center, inhale, exhale, head away, inhale, exhale, back to center, inhale, and exhale, all right, and we're turning the palm Yep, fingers out, there we go. Woo! Big inhale, big exhale. Look away, big inhale, big exhale. Back to center, inhale, exhale. Head tilts away, big inhale, big exhale. Back to center, inhale, exhale. And then drop the fingers down, palm down, fingers reaching towards the ground. Inhale, exhale. Look away, inhale, exhale. Back to center, inhale, exhale. Head tilts away, inhale, exhale. Back to center, inhale. And exhale, release. Give that shoulder a little roll. Good, both shoulders come to roll. And reverse your roll. And bring it back to center. Okay, we're gonna move into more big shoulder movements here. So we're gonna do our strap in a second. We're gonna do a couple shoulder movements without straps. So we're gonna reach arms away, palms up, inhale. Exhale, bring the knuckles in, the shoulders. Good, inhale long. Exhale. Inhale. I said shoulders, this one's elbows. Exhale, <laughs> but you get it. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Try to do three more, inhale, exhale, knuckles come in, inhale, extend long, exhale, bring it in. Two more, let's just do two more, one more, exhale, bring it in. Big inhale here. Exhale, relax, palms up. Take the finite mountain spine. You're like, Emily, do you have coffee today? Like I did. <laughs> Just a little zony baloney. Big inhale, big exhale. But if you've been to a life class, you know I lose count regularly. <laughs> okay, we're gonna find our cactus arms. Palms towards me, big inhale. Exhale, turn it down. Inhale, bring it up, exhale down. And it might help here as you're doing this on your breath to put a little pinch in the shoulder blades to bring those shoulders back together behind you. And can you try to keep those ears over the shoulders? I'm trying. <laughs> inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Do three more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Bring it back into center. Big inhale, big exhale. Good. All right, last one before we bring in our strap. We're going to come back to cactus arms. We're going to inhale here. Exhale, close it forward. We're not going to round or tuck here. It's not cow and cat. Inhale, open up. 
Exhale, bring it together. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Okay. La okay. okay, last one before we bring in our straps. I'm gonna find our cactus arms. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. It's not a cow and cat. So we're not really bowing the head. We're kind of just getting that movement. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, bringing the arms together in front of you. Three more. One more big inhale. Exhale, bring it forward and then relax. Letting the palms fall open, finding mountain spine. Big inhale. Big exhale. Great job. I changed across my leg. Now for these strap ones, you're gonna need a little room to re reach behind you for some of them, for all of them. <laughs> so if you're sitting in a chair, you wanna come forward, see room behind you, or maybe switch to the sofa or the edge of the bed for this last bit. I might actually need more room behind me. So I'm going to turn to the side for the next few so that you can see what's going on behind me as well. Okay, so our first one we're gonna do is called shoulder flossing. We have our strap in our hands. We're gonna hold it wider apart than your body. Um, and we're gonna start with knuckles forward, palms down, lift it up overhead, palms are forward, knuckles up towards the sky. And we're gonna drop it back behind us. So you'll feel like a little rotation here through the shoulder and just depends on your shoulder mobility how far back it goes. It might just come behind you a little bit. It might drop down. It just depends on your shoulder mobility. So don't try to force it anywhere. You're just following with what naturally is available to you. Okay. Inhale up. Exhale back behind you. Inhale up. Exhale in front of you. So when we come back to front, we're right here, right across the chest. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. And release. Give the shoulders a little bounce or a little roll. Whatever feels comfortable. And then we'll move on to the next one. Okay. So we're going to bring our strap behind us now. We're going to do palms away from our body. We're going to do little pulses up. Now everyone's mobility is here different. I have not a lot of mobility in this direction. Now there are people who can like fold forward and like turn their hands up. It's not me. Let's flip our hands now. So palms are towards our body. And then flip it back. Palms away from our body. Flip it back. Palms towards our body. And let's do the last two. Palms away. And palms towards. The duck, that buckle's doing me dirty today. And relax. Whew. Getting some opening through the front of the shoulders, maybe even you're feeling some sensation here. A lot of us have tight muscles around here because of 
the computer. So that's a great movement to get that opening and to stretch out through there. Okay, last one with our strap we're gonna do is a little bit more of a passive stretch in a way. So it's Gomukhasana, which is cow face pose. We're gonna keep our legs in a neutral position, whatever is comfortable for you. We're gonna take the strap up and down the back until both hands can find the strap. Then we're gonna walk the hands towards each other and open the elbows out wide in both directions. We're trying to keep the strap relatively centered down the spine. We open the elbows out and away from the strap. And just depending on how tense you are, depending also on just your skeletal structure, it's going to determine how close your hands are together on the strap. Some people can just reach back and link hands. I cannot. And if you're starting with your hand down by your tailbone, that is a great place to start and just to get that opening. Wherever you are, just noticing the sensations coming up across the front of the shoulders. Keeping those elbows open. One more big inhale. Exhale, release. Give the arms a couple bounces. Come back to mountain spine for a minute. Palms up, big inhale. Big exhale. Good. We're going to switch to the opposite hand is on top. And this side might feel completely different. I know that mine does. I'm tighter on one side than the other. So I don't reach exactly as far on the other side. Opening up those elbows to the sides. Breathe gently. Noticing what sensations are coming up. Three more big inhales. Last big inhale. And exhale, release. We'll give the shoulders a little bounce. And I'm gonna turn back to center. Okay, last couple of postures here. We're gonna take a big X. Right arm up and out, left arm down and out. Big inhale. And exhale, switch. Big inhale. Exhale, switch. 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 We do one more on each side. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it back into center. All right. We're going to finish with some cows and cats. So we're going to inhale, slide the hands back towards the hips, lift the heart, pinch the shoulders back, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the chin around the back. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Bring it back to mountain spine. Let's do palms up. 
Let's close with one big inhale, big inhale, big exhale. <sighs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, don't forget to make sure you like this video and subscribe so others can find it. It helps me out very much in reaching people who need accessible yoga options. Don't forget that below, there's plenty of info that you can check out about this class and the sequences, and as well as all the ways you can join in our community outside of YouTube. Thanks and have a great day.